Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Okay, class, I need you to take out your math books. Turn to page 673. Oh, my gosh. We're already at page 673? I mean, seriously, shouldn't, shouldn't the school year be over by now? Even I'm getting tired of the school year. When's spring break? Not soon enough. Attention, attention. I need Molly and Daisy to report to the principal's office, please. Molly and Daisy to report to the principal's office. Oh, man. I got another detention. What? Why do I have to go to the principal's office? Well, Daisy, you could look at it like this. <laughs> at least you don't have to be stuck in math class. I want to be stuck in math class. I like school. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why I got detention, but I'm freaking out. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go to the principal's. And you might not have detention, Daisy. I do. I just know it. I do. You go in first, Molly. I'm too afraid to go into the principal's office. Daisy, there's nothing to be afraid of. She's actually pretty nice. But, Molly, you're used to going to the principal's. You go here at least once or twice a week. <laughs> I know. I should probably start bringing her donuts from Starbrooks. Hi, principal. Oh, hi, Molly. Hi, Daisy. Okay, how many detentions did I get this time? <laughs> Why did I get detention? What did I do? Neither one of you have detention, actually. We don't? Are we going to get some stickers or something? Because, like, we're amazing and... No, girls, I'm I'm sorry to have to call you in here, but you should gather your things out of your locker. Oh my gosh, we're getting kicked out of school? What? Kicked out of school? Uh, no, 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 no. It's your grandpa, girls. What? What's wrong with our grandpa? He's very sick, and he's in the hospital at Brookhaven. Wait, what? I just saw my grandpa last weekend, and he was fine. Well, Molly, he isn't fine. He's not fine at all. He's, he's going to be okay, right? I don't know, girls. I, I don't know a lot of details. Your mom just told me to tell you that she's on her way to pick you up, and you should get the stuff in your locker and be waiting outside the school. It's an emergency. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Daisy. Thank you, Principal. Also, I, I'll see you in the next detention. Molly, try not to get detention. I'll try. No promises. I got to get the stuff out of my locker. I can't believe it. Grandpa's so sick. I know. This can't be good. This can't be good at all if Mom's coming to get us. Well, all I can say is, is that I hope he's going to be okay. Me too. Come on. Mom wants us to wait outside the school. There's Mom. Come on. Let's go. Hi, Mom. Hey, girls. Mom, are you okay? Well, um, I'm trying to be. But the truth is, is that... I'm just feeling really worried and sad and scared. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry this is happening to your dad. And to our grandpa. I am really worried. Me too, girls. Me too. Let's just get into the hospital and, and see how your grandpa is, okay? I just got the call myself. I'm thinking I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need some coffee. It's going to be a long day at the hospital. Hi, how can I help you? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have a coffee, and girls, what do you want? Five donuts and also a latte. Really, Molly? I'm hungry. We missed lunch. Five donuts? Sorry, we're out of donuts. What? Oh, my God, this is the worst thing ever. I'm freaking out. Okay, Molly, it's all right. Do you want a muffin instead? Yeah, okay. Daisy, what would you like? Nothing for me. I don't want to eat anything. Oh, Daisy, you should at least have a snack. How about a muffin? Okay, I'll try to eat it. Okay, I've got two muffins and a cup of coffee. And a latte! And a latte, please. And a latte. You can pull around. Mm. This muffin's pretty good, but 
I don't know. I'm too sad to even think about how delicious it is right now. I'm just going to eat it and then, I don't know, go into the hospital and see my grandpa. Doctor! 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 Oh, hi there. How can I help you? My name is Molly. My grandpa's in this hospital and he's really sick and, and, and I, need to, no, 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 I need to know what's going on. Oh, I'm very sorry, but your grandpa is very old. I know that! Who cares if he's old? Tell me what's wrong with him! Well, as we get older, you know, we sometimes just don't feel good, so he's in the hospital. No, I know that! Can you tell me what's wrong? Right now, he is in a coma, which means his body is trying to re rest and recuperate. A coma? But, 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 but he's my grandpa! He's gotta get better! Look, I, I don't know if he's gonna get better. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, I'm very sorry. Oh, oh Grandpa! I want I... I didn't even get to say anything to him before he went into a coma. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, just because your grandpa's in a coma doesn't mean he can't hear you. He can't talk back to you, but he can probably hear everything you're saying. So you can go and have a conversation with him, you and your family. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, girls, listen. I want you to try your tears right now and, you know, tell your grandpa the things you'd like to say to him, okay? <laughs> okay, Mom. I'll try. Good girl. All right. Now, let's put on our brave faces and go see Grandpa. Oh, my gosh. This is really hard to see. Hi, Grandpa. It's me, Daisy. Um, I, I don't know what to say except for I love you and you're the best, Grandpa. That's all you need to say, Daisy. Molly, are you going to come into the room? No, I can't. I'm not ready to say goodbye to my grandpa. I'm not ready. Molly, it's it's okay if you need to stay out there. But I think grandpa would love to hear from you. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. It's okay, Molly. Hi, grandpa. It's me, Molly. And I wanted to let you know that... You were the best grandpa ever. I remember one time when Daisy was at dance competition and I wasn't a good enough dancer to go. I was feeling really sad, so, uh, you decided we could go have some fun. Grandpa, you brought me to the ice cream shop? I love it here. That's right, Molly. And I think we both should get double scoops. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Which kind are you going to have? Oh, I'm a milk, mint chocolate chip kind of guy. Me too. I love mint chocolate chip. But Grandpa, you got chocolate. Oh, whoops. My eyes aren't what they used to be. <laughs> Chocolate's pretty good too. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, you're silly. I love spending time with you. And I love spending time with you. Hey, look, just because you didn't make the dance competition doesn't mean you can't have a wonderful day. Any day with you is wonderful, Grandpa. You're super fun and super nice. I love you. I love you too, Molly. Now, should we go tramp on the trampoline at the park? Grandpa, you might break a hip. Oh, nonsense. I'm as fit as a fiddle. <laughs> Grandpa. Mm, this ice cream's delicious. Seriously, Grandpa. You've been the world's best grandpa to me. And I love you more than anything. <laughs> I wish you could wake up. But I understand your body needs to rest. That's right, girls. Maybe we should let Grandpa take some time to rest now. Did you say everything you wanted to say? I did. Love you, Grandpa. Bye-bye. Okay, Grandpa. Well, um, I hope you're dreaming about eating lots of mint ice cream, <laughs> not chocolate. <laughs> you remember, you always like mint better. Okay, girls. Come on. Let's go get snacks from the snack machine. Okay. Well, bye, Grandpa. I love you so much, Grandpa. So much. <laughs> it's going to be okay, girls. I'm here for you both. Thanks, Mom. Thanks so much. I love this show. Oh, man. I hope they always have this on YouTube because this show is the best Ever. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, Molly! What, Daisy? I'm busy right now. I'm watching new episodes of the brightly colored unicorn. 
But Molly, I have something I need to tell you and it's really important. I bet it's not Daisy. It's probably something about having to do schoolwork in the summer or something boring like that. Don't, Molly. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It's awesome and you're going to love it. Ah, oh, fine, Daisy. What is it? Ew, Molly, you're kind of stinky. Have you taken a bath yet today? No, I was too busy watching new episodes of the Brightly Colored Unicorn. Ew, Molly, you still have to take a bath. You're stinky. Look at the stink cloud. Daisy, did you just come into my room to tell me I'm stinky? Uh, no, but now that you mentioned it. Okay, get out of my room! No, Molly, I really want to tell you something awesome. Well, if it's go take a bath, that's not very awesome. No, no, no. I saw that they just released a new LOL doll series. Hooray! What? New LOL dolls? Are you serious? I'm totally serious, Molly. Oh my gosh, I have to go see if I have any allowance. Let me look at my desk. Oh, rats. I spent it all on, on candy and stuff. Ooh, Molly, I don't have any money either. I know what we could do. We'll ask Mom. Okay, Molly, but you might want to take a bath first. She'll probably be so distracted by your stinkiness, she won't be able to say yes or no. Okay, Daisy, fine. Sisters, I tell ya. You get a little stinky and they don't want to be your sister anymore. La 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 Okay, that's better. I'm not stinky anymore. Ooh, you smell much better, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna go ask Mom now. Hey, Mom! What's up? You look beautiful today. Oh, thank you, Molly. Uh, what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? I can't just tell my mom she's beautiful. Molly, the only time you give me compliments is usually when you're going to ask me for something that you want. Oh, Mom. Not true. Not true. Smooth, Molly. Smooth. Daisy, shh. Ooh, that looks delicious, Mom. I'm starving. Well, I'm just about to um, put all of the stuff on the table and you guys can eat. Sounds good, Mom. Um, I have a question. Okay, Molly, what is it? Um, I was wondering if, um, well, you see, the LOL dolls just came out with a new series, and you know how much I love those. I sure do, Molly. I was wondering if, um, maybe you could give me, like, $15 so I could get it. Oh, I'm sorry, Molly, um, but I already gave you your allowance for this week. I know, but I spent it all, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry, Molly, I don't have any more money to give to you. Mom, yes you do! Okay, Molly, well, you can't have an LOL doll right now. Oh, Mom! <laughs> Molly, no tears. Come on, you know the rules. You can spend your allowance on whatever you want. And I think you chose already that you wanted chocolate and candy, so now you don't have money for the LOL dolls. <sighs> well, Mom, I'm starving. How about I have a piece of cake? Uh, no, Molly. I just made some healthy chili. You can have that. Woo, chili! Mmm, I don't want chili! I hate chili! Besides, it makes you fart a lot. Molly, don't be rude. Well, it does. <laughs> Molly! See, even baby Kira knows you go too too after you eat chili. Molly, sit down and have something to eat. You're obviously very hungry. You're getting super grumpy. But, Mom, I just wanted some cake, and I wanted LOL dolls. Ugh. Molly, do you need a nap or, or maybe some time out? No, I don't want any of those things. I especially don't want any chili. Just ask me if I want to boost my mood. No, I don't want to boost my mood. I want to be grumpy. Molly, just eat your snack and be good. Daisy, I thought you were on my side. We needed an LOL doll. Yeah, but Mom said no. Daisy, oh, fine. Go in my room. I wonder what it would be like if my mom said yes to everything. Mom! Mom! Well, hello, Molly. What's up? Mom, um, you look gorgeous today. Thanks, Molly. Is there anything I can give you? Oh, really? You you want to give me stuff? Sure. How about a thousand dollars? A thousand dollars? Are you kidding? I'm rich! Mm -hmm. I heard there's a new LOL doll series out, and you're going to want to buy all of them. Hmm, now, let's see. How many LOL dolls could you buy with that? At least 100, Mom. At least. Uh-huh. You can just go ahead and um, 
Grab that right out of my purse. Okay, Mom, thanks. What are you guys doing? Sorry, baby Kira, I have no idea what you said. I don't speak, baby. Mom, I'm a little bored. Well, we'll be going to the store soon so you can buy your stuff, but first I have to make some food because everybody's hungry. Okay, well, I'll just go jump on my bed. Molly, you're not allowed to jump on your bed. Uh, Mom, can I jump on my bed? Sure, Molly, have fun. <laughs> my mom said I could jump on my bed, on my bed. Mom, um, there's all this laundry here. Uh, should we make Daisy do it? Sure, whatever you want, Molly. <laughs> Molly, why are you making me do your laundry? Because mom said you had to. Get going, Daisy. Get going, get going, get going. Something really weird's going on here. My mom's saying yes to everything. Wait a minute. This is the best day of my life. Mom. Oh, I thought maybe you'd like to eat some cookies. Can I eat all of the cookies, Mom? Um, yeah, sure. You don't think I'll get a tummy ache? Nah, you'll be fine. Oh, my gosh. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, Mom. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can I even eat all these cookies? Yum, 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 yum. Ah, oh, so many cookies. Molly, could I have a cookie? No. Molly. Mom made all these cookies for me. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, so full. So full. I made you some hot chocolate, Molly. Oh, my gosh. That looks delicious. Glug, 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 glug. One cookie left. Who wants it? Me. <laughs> Yum, 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 yum. Oh, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Would you like some cake now, Molly? I could make you a cake if you want. No, no, Mom. All those cookies were enough with the hot chocolate and... Oh. I said, oh, Papa, Papa, tummy, tummy ache. No, I don't have a tummy ache. I'm fine. Mom, um, can I go swimming in the middle of the night? Sure, Molly. Can I stay up as late as I want? Sure, Molly. <laughs> this is seriously the best day ever. Oh, what are you doing, Daisy? Your laundry, Molly! Ay, ay, ay. This is the worst day ever. Make sure you fold it and put it away in my in my dresser. Whatever, Molly. Whatever. Mom. Oh, Molly. Um, I was thinking, you know those chores you had to do today? Yeah. Maybe your sisters could handle them. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Girls, why don't you go ahead and get started? Okay, baby Kira, you're a little baby. You don't have to do chores. You don't know how to do them. I can't believe this. Why is mom making me do this? Mom, I don't want to. Sorry, Daisy. It's what Molly wants. Yeah, whatever Molly wants. Ah, best day ever. On second thought, Mom, I think maybe I will have some cake. Okay, Molly, I'm sure you'll love it. Let me get started on it right away. Okay, I'm just gonna go over here and bounce on the bed. Boing, 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 boing. Can you imagine if your mom and dad said yes to everything? Ooh, these cakes look delicious. Ah, my tummy kind of hurts from eating so many cookies. Who cares? Let's eat cake next. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, Daisy, it's okay. Doing my chores is pretty terrible, though, isn't it? Molly, why? Molly, come on. You need to do your chores. Oh, too bad it's not reality. Molly, you could do my chores, too. Yeah, Molly, why don't you help out and do your sister's chores? What? No! That sounds like the worst day ever! Just kidding. You girls need to do your own chores. I did that to Yeah, I did baby. Yeah, you're lucky you're the baby. You don't have to do any of these chores. <sighs> hey, Toy Hero fans. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every single day. Guys, let us know in the comment section below if you think it'd be awesome if your mom or dad said yes to everything. Okay, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. That's the sound that my cat makes. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, it's not a real cat.
It's just a it's just a stuffed cat, but it's so adorable, right? She has little button eyes. Meow, 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 meow. I love her so much. Do to do, do to do. Hmm. I wonder what I should make for dinner. Did somebody say dinner? Mom, are you making dinner? Mom. Oh, hey, Molly. Hmm. I wonder what's in the refrigerator. Ooh, this looks good. Tacos. Tacos, my favorite. Did somebody say tacos? Daisy, get out of my room right now. I'm playing with your toys. Yeah, and I'm telling you to stop it. Daisy, get out of Molly's room, please. Fight, she never shows her toys. You have your own toys. You have that exact toy in your room. Why do you have to play with mine? Yours is more fun. Girls, behave. Now get along, okay? Girls, I just found out that I don't have any lemonade for dinner. No lemonade? But we always have lemonade with our tacos. I know. It's such a dilemma. It's not really. You could just go to the store. Well, do you girls promise to be good while I'm gone? Of course. Molly doesn't know how to be good. That's not true, Daisy. Yes, I do. Well, if you girls think you can be good for just a few minutes and watch your sister, baby Kira, I'll go to the store and get the lemonade. Well, we cannot have tacos without lemonade, so I'm all for you going to the store. Also, can you get some ice cream? We'll see, Molly. If you girls can be good, maybe I'll get you some dessert. Well, how are you going to know if we're good beforehand, Mom? I mean, <laughs> you might get the dessert and then we're bad. I'll get the dessert and then if you're bad, I'll eat it all. What? No! <laughs> Mom's so funny. <laughs> see you later, girls. Be back in a little bit. <laughs> Mom is kind of funny. Okay, baby Kara, what are you doing? I just told you, Papa, but you got a unicorn. Okay, you stay here and be a good girl, okay? I'm just sitting here waiting for the tacos. Daisy, Mom went to the store. You're going to be sitting there for like an hour. I'm okay with that. Okay, if you say so, Daisy. Do not come in. I'm doing something private. Which means writing in my journal and I don't want my, my sister to read it. Because she would read it. You know she would. What you doing, Molly? Seriously, Daisy, get out, please. Okay, fine. Jeez. Close the door! Dear Diary, I have to tell you something. And it's a secret. No one can know. Do, 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 do. Oh! <laughs> Toy Hero fans, did you really think I was going to tell you what's in my diary? Of course I'm not going to tell you what's in my diary. My oh, yo yo. Molly, what are you doing? Daisy, for the last time, get out, please. Okay, Molly, she said that maybe you want to hang out. Daisy, no, you... No, I didn't say stay in here. I said get out and close the door. Okay, fine, Guampi. What are you doing? None of your business. Okay, Molly, well, I'll leave then. Okay, good. Okay, diary, back to what I was saying. Daisy, why are you still in my room? Molly, I just want to play. I don't want you to play. Get out. Okay, Molly, you don't have to be so rude. All right, please get out. Please, I'm trying to do something in my room. Go play in your room. Okay, Molly, fine. Sisters, ay ay ay. Finally back to um, writing in my journal. Sorry about the interruptions, diary. My sister is kind of annoying. She's my younger sister. I don't know why she's like that. There. I wrote my secret in my diary. Now, all I have to do is close my door so nobody sees it. Oh, yeah, and log off my computer. Huh. Silly me. Okay, perfect. Do, 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 ba, 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 do, do. What you doing, Molly? Nothing, Daisy. I'm just going to go out and play. But listen, stay out of my room. Why, Molly? What's going on in there? Nothing's going on in there. And if there was, it would be a secret because it's my room. Do you see me in your room? No, but I kind of want to go in your room. Okay, fine. I'm going to go in your room. How do you like it? Don't, Molly. Stay out of my room. Okay, that's my point, Daisy. Stay out of my room. There's a secret in there that I don't want anybody to see. 
Okay, fine, Molly. I won't. I'm just going to sit here and watch the brightly colored unicorn. And I'm going to go swimming. Baby Kira, are you being good? <laughs> she loves that toy. It's seriously so cute. Time to go swimming. Okay, should I dive off the diving board or should I go down the slide? Huh, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna go down the slide. Here I go. Whee! <laughs> Whoa, I'm on the bottom of the pool. This is crazy. But I can't hold my breath forever! I have to go to the top of the pool. Because <laughs> I have to take a breath. I breathe air. I'm not a fish. Now I'm going to go off the diving board. Boing! <laughs> that was fun! I'm going to sit in this inner tube and just like chill out. Ah, perfect. I said, don't buy it, don't buy it, you unicorn. That's right, baby. Kill out the brightly colored unicorn. Hmm. I wonder what the secret in Molly's room was. I really want to find out. No, no. No, no. I know, baby. Kill out, but don't say anything, okay? I'm going to go into Molly's room and I'm going to find out what the secret is. But first, I got to sneak in. I don't see any secrets. I don't see anything at all. Maybe it's on her computer. Oh my gosh! Something cool on YouTube right now. Okay, no, that's probably not it. Let's see what else she's got on her computer. Maybe it's a secret present for me. Okay, let's see. What's her password? I can't figure out her password. Maybe it's like, I'm so cool or something. It is I'm so cool! <gasps> Whoa! It's Molly's diary! I bet there's a secret in here. Oh my gosh, there's a big secret in here! <gasps> she has a crush on Luke? What? I better go check on baby Kira since we're supposed to be babysitting her while my mom is gone. Hey! Why is my bedroom door open? Baby Kira, I told you, you can't play with my... Oh, my gosh, it's not Baby Kira playing with my toys. It's Daisy. Oh, uh, yeah, Dub, I wasn't doing anything. Daisy, you read my diary. You sneaked into my room and you read my diary. Oh, well, um, I didn't mean it. Daisy! Oh, my gosh. Girls, what's all this fighting about? Mom, Daisy snuck into my room. Well, I didn't really sneak in here. I kind of just walked in. Um, Daisy, I don't think it's very nice that you broke into your sister's room. Yeah, not nice. And I was writing in my diary, and it was a secret, and she read it. Yeah, Molly has a crush on Luke. Daisy! Daisy, that was not nice at all. I can't believe you did that. I'm very disappointed in you. But I didn't think it would be that bad. Well, it was, Daisy. It wasn't nice. Daisy, what would you think if your little sister, you know, baby Kira, snuck into your room? Well, I probably wouldn't mind it if it were much. I think you should go to your room and think about what you did. Fine, I'll go. Can't believe I got in trouble. Oh, I can't believe she read my diary. Mom, can I have a snack? I'm feeling really hungry. Sure, Molly, you can have a snack, but not a big one. I don't want you to ruin your dinner. Okay, I'm just going to have a banana. Is that okay since it's healthy? Sure, Molly. It's okay. Mmm. Delicious. Now I have to make sure that my sister actually is listening. I'm going, Molly. I'm going. Like it or play it or play. Hey, why are you in my room playing with my toys? Give me that. See, Daisy? Now you know how it feels to have your little sister sneaking into your room. Yes, you right, Molly. I didn't like that. Not even one bit. Neither did I, Daisy. I'm sorry I snuck into your room, Molly. I was just so curious what the secret was. Well, now you know. Don't tell anybody. Okay, Molly. I promise. Cross my heart. Yeah, we'll see, Daisy. We'll see. Hey, Toyo fans. I cannot believe my little sister snuck into my room today. It's just crazy. 
Guys, don't forget to subscribe to all four of our channels. The Toy Heroes, The Toy Heroes Games, Gaming with Daisy, and Gaming with Molly. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully my sister won't be so... Oh, little sister-like! No, I want to ride the pink unicorn. You ride the green one. Oh boy, Marty's dreaming about unicorns again. Marty, shh, I'm trying to watch my favorite show. Girls, girls, are you out of bed yet? Girls. Oh, what? No, oh, it's too early. Oh, it's uh, so early. Girls, come on, it's 11.30 already. Get out of bed. I'm watching my favorite show, Mom. I'm just going to stay here. Huh? What? Ah! I fell out of bed. Ow, ow, ow. I hurt my ankle. Mom, I have to lay in bed all day. Molly, open your eyes, please. You wouldn't fall out of bed if you actually looked where you were going. <laughs> yeah, Mom. I never thought of that. Look where I was going. <laughs> Girls, you have wanted to be lazy every single Saturday since school started. Uh, yeah? That's because we have to get out of bed early on school days. And we have to do all this homework, and then there's detention. So what you mean to say is that you don't get out of bed on time, you don't do your homework, and then you get detention? Uh, that's exactly what she means. Ah! Daisy, you were, like, possessed for a minute. What? What are you talking about? No, I wasn't. Mom, did you see that? She was floating in midair. What are you talking about, Molly? Huh? I'm probably still tired and just imagining this stuff because I haven't gotten enough rest. Girls, downstairs, right now, we're going to have a healthy breakfast. Fine. As if we don't have to do all of these chores and all of this stuff during the work week and the school week. Now we have to do it on our Saturday, too? I don't think so. Ah, <sighs> relaxation. Oh, man, I forgot to turn on the TV. And where's the remote? Someone lost the remote. So I don't have to actually get up and turn on the TV? Like, seriously? Doesn't even seem like a thing. <gasps> OMG! Look at this adorable hammy ham! <laughs> I love it! Oh, wow, Marty, you found the hammy ham channel. I love that. Yeah, he's so cute eating all his broccoli. Girls, come on, it's time for a healthy breakfast. Okay, fine. Hey, girls, good morning. Hey, Dad, what are you doing? Oh, fixing this washing machine. I hate this washing machine! Ah! Dad, don't beat the washing machine with the wrench. That's not going to fix it. But it might break it, so that way I never have to fix it ever again. You, we know we can't afford a new washer right now, Dan. Don't break it! Uh-oh, Mom and Dad are going to fight. Mom and Dad are going to fight. Yeah, but they always make up. Everything will be fine. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> sometimes they're like, No! You can't have a washing machine. And she's like, yes, I can. Okay, girls, that's enough of that. Well, if you guys are going to fight about the washing machine, I'm going to go in here and watch Hammy Ham. <sighs> Wait, who turned off the TV? I did, Molly. You have a lot of chores to do. Come on. What does that include? Burying zombies or something? What's this? No, you have to do all of the gardening today. There's a lot of weeding to do. What? No, I'm not. I'm going to just chill out on the couch. Molly, I don't think so. Your sister has to do all the other chores, and you have to do this one. No, it's Saturday. I don't want to. How about I jump on the couch? Whee! Boing, 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 boing. Oh, man. My kids are out of control. Oh, what am I going to do? I need a parenting class. Okay, Daisy, I'd like you to sweep and mop the floors, please. Of the entire house? Mom, I had my science fail this last week, and I worked so hard on that. I really don't have the energy. Well, we all have to pitch in. What are you and Dad going to do? Well, I'm going to do the dishes, and your dad's going to keep repairing the washing machine. I don't want to. How about I just go play on the computer? That sounds like a much better idea. <sighs> you girls don't want to do anything. You're so lazy on the weekends. Yeah, that's kind of the point of a weekend. Lazy. Oh, Laura, I don't know what we're going to do about these girls. I know. They're so lazy. They don't want to help around the house at all. Do you think school is too stressful on them? No, I don't think so. I mean, no more than work stressful on us, and we all need to pitch in and make this house work, well, good. I know. I don't know what to do. I can't get them to listen. Wait a minute. I wasn't going to tell you this, but I went into the secret section of the library the other day. What? 
You, you what? The public library has a big sign that says secret section. Don't go back in here. Well, I did. I just had to see what was in there. And I found this spell book. It has all these spells to make your kids behave. Wait, what? Okay, now I'm interested. Exactly. Here's a spell where they have to say yes to everything we ask. Oh, this is great news. <laughs> Cast the spell. What are you waiting for? Are you sure? I mean... This book is definitely forbidden at this public library. Well, Harry Potter's sometimes forbidden at the public library. Cast the spell! Okay, here goes nothing. Alakazam. Alaka, don't you dare play. You have to do everything we say! What's happening? I, I, I feel weird. I did too, Molly. What's going on? Time to test if this little spell worked. What? What'd you say, Mom? Oh, nothing. <laughs> um, Molly, would you get up and mop the floors for first and then, I mean, sweep the floor? Oh, I'm getting so confused right now. This spell is making me crazy. What? What are you talking about, Mom? Do you have a fever? Molly, go get dressed. Yes, Mom, whatever you say. Well, that was weird. Why did I say yes to my mom? Daisy, vacuum the floor. Okay, Mom, I do anything you say. Yes. Why did I just say yes to that? I didn't want to. That was weird. What am I gonna wear today? <laughs> Ooh, this looks cute. <laughs> Forgot to take my pajama shirt off. Um, I definitely want to wear, like... Yeah, there. Super cozy on this fall morning. Whoa, I ran into the shower. Whoopsie. Did it work? Did the spell work? What are you guys whispering about? It totally did. Molly, I would like you to go, um, hmm, what am I going to have her do, Dan? Uh, why don't you go clean the grill? What? The grill? I, I, I don't. Okay, yes, I'll clean the grill. Why did I say yes? I don't want to say yes. Oh my God, this is fabulous. I know, right? What do I have to clean the grill with? Well, I guess I could use my toothbrush. Oh, ew, this is going to be so gross. La 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 la, cleaning the grill. Mmm, this coffee's good. It's pumpkin spice, you know, because it's fall now. Ooh, pumpkin spice, I love it. We finally get a free second to ourselves without having to do all the work around here. That spell book is amazing. What other spells are in there? Let's not worry about that right now. Let's just enjoy the moment. I love this part of Hammy Ham. What's that I hear? A child being lazy? Not on my watch. Ah, this is the life. Just relaxing. Uh, not on my watch, you're not. Go out and cut the grass. What? I don't even know how to cut the grass. Go do it, Molly. Yes, I will. I will cut the grass. Wait, why am I saying yes to everything? This is terrible. I have to cut the grass. I have no choice. Holy guacamole, I'm doing all the chores that my parents would normally do. Well, well, you probably shouldn't um, mow when there's not grass. It would be really bad to mow over the driveway. Whoa! How does he mow over this part? Oh my god, this is scary. This is so scary. You can mow along this little tiny edge, and if you fall, you fall to your death! Oh, wow, this is a lot of grass to mow. Here you go, little plant. Well, you're not so little anymore, are you? Daisy, why are we saying yes to all these chores? I know, Marley. I couldn't figure that out either. Something really fishy's going on here. I don't even like doing all these chores on my Saturday. And I keep saying yes. Me too. It's like I'm saying yes against my will. It's really weird. Okay, well, I'm going back to watch TV. Oh, Molly, I see you're back from mowing the lawn. The house needs dusting now. Wait, what? I just did all this work. How about maybe I take a break? No, Molly, dust, and then we'll think about a break. Fine. Ugh, I guess I'll start over here. Hey, what's, what's this? Magic spell book forbidden? Where did my mom get this? What? Have your kids say yes to everything? Or have your parents say yes to everything? <gasps> my parents cast a spell on me! Rude. Okay. I see how it goes. I'm going to reverse the spell and make them say yes to everything. <laughs> a 
Okay, I tried to sound like a witch there, or evil or something, but I don't know. It just sounded kind of ridiculous. Sorry. What? What are you doing, Molly? What? What do you have that spell book? Give that back! Absolutely not! I know you put a spell on me and Daisy. And it's payback time. Molly, give me that book right now. Oh no, I don't want to say yes. I better hurry up and say the spell. Alakazam! Alaka Bess! To everything I ask, you have to say yes! What's happening? Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh! I feel like I, I have to say yes to everything. Mom, I would like to go to Disney World today. I'm okay. Yes, we could go. First, I'm going to have ice cream for every meal. Sounds good to me. <laughs> That'll teach you for putting a spell on us. <laughs> I'm home! Daisy, I'm in the kitchen! Hi, Mom! Guess what, guess what, guess what? What is it, Daisy? I got a hundred! On my science test, that is. Oh my gosh, another hundred? I would have never guessed it! I know, I'm a creature of habit. I get hundreds all the time. But this one was extra special. Oh yeah? Why is that, Daisy? Uh, because, uh, it was very hard, even for me. Wow, it sounds like it was a challenging test, but you pulled through in the end. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. Well, I'm going to get started on my chores. Great job. Hey, wait, Daisy, I have a question. Yeah, Mom, what is it? Where's your sister? Oh, she has detention again. Ugh, Molly. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I've got to put in some laundry, then a vacuum and mop, and my chores will be done. I can start on my homework after that. Oh my gosh, this laundry basket weighs about a ton. That's because Molly never does her laundry. And she throws her dirty socks in my laundry basket. Rude. La 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 la. I like to clean the house. Well, I don't know if I really like chores. But it helps my parents out. And it keeps the house clean. So I guess I don't mind that much. Wow, that was the longest detention ever. <sighs> Just need to chill out for a while. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, what's it look like I'm doing? I'm turning on the TV and chilling out. Molly, you know when you come home you have to do chores. Chore s'mores. Ooh, s'mores. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Molly! Seriously, why am I doing all the chores? I don't know, because you're boring. Ugh, she's so annoying. Ugh, I think she might be a little spoiled. Hey, Molly, how was school? Um, well, uh... I sort of got detention again. So I heard. Mom, can I have an ice cream? I'm really hungry. It was a long day. Yeah, but just a small one. I don't want you to ruin your dinner. Okay, thanks. Seriously? She gets an ice cream after she had detention? She's so spoiled. Mmm, this is delicious. Mmm, ice cream. Molly, a small scoop, I said. Ugh, you're not going to want to eat the chicken I made for dinner. Chicken schmicken! <laughs> I don't want any chicken. Mm. Going outside to ride my bike! What? She's going outside? Why is it that I came home with a perfect test and I did the chores I was supposed to and now I'm doing my homework and my sister got to have detention and she didn't even get punished. She got to eat two scoops of ice cream and go out and ride her bike. She is so spoiled! That really was the best ice cream. Whee! <laughs> this is fun. I wonder if Brookie Cookie's home. Probably not. I know she said she was going to go to the gym and work out. This is my workout. I can get fresh air. I can be outside. This is the life. Who wants to do homework or chores? My sister's life is so boring. My English teacher wants us to write an essay on what we want most in life. This is easy. What I want most in life is for my sister to be held to the same standards as me. How come she gets to do all these naughty things and still get treats and not have to do chores and homework? But I have to. Something tells me it's not very fair. I could write an entire book about how not fair it is. First of all, the first thing I want is fairness in my house. Period. Next, I want my sister to pay for her being so spoiled and being a brat. Period. Okay, I can tell that I'm frustrated, 
Maybe I need to step away from this essay. I know I won't get a good grade when I'm this mad. I guess I could talk to my mom about this. Mom! Mom! Oh, hi, Daisy. Hi, Mom. Ugh. Oh, what? Did you, did you have a lot of homework? Did you get it all done? Um, not yet. Well, then you should probably do your homework. Are all your chores done? Yes, my chores are done. And I was wondering, can I have some ice cream? Oh, Daisy, we're going to be eating dinner in about 10 minutes, so no. What? That's not fair. I'm sorry, but we're going to be eating soon. We are having your favorite chicken, mashed potatoes. I don't like mashed potatoes. I hate mashed potatoes. Whoa, Daisy, what has gotten into you? That sounded very disrespectful to me. Mom, I need to talk to you. Whoa, okay, well, why don't we calm down a little bit? What can I help you with? Mom, I feel that Marty is very spoiled. In fact, the most spoiled sister on the planet, actually. Okay, well, tell me how you feel about that. I feel angry! Um, all right, I can tell. Take a deep breath, please, and count to five. One, two, three... No, I'm still angry! You didn't get to five yet, Daisy. Try five! Okay, four, five! Still angry! Try ten. Mom! I don't care how many numbers I count. I'm still mad. Okay, well, tell me why. I feel too spoiled because, like, look, I came home with a hundred. And what I do? My chores. Then after my chores, homework. Marty gets attention, comes home two hours late. She gets to eat an ice cream. By the way, you didn't let me. Well, that's because Molly asked 45 minutes ago. There was plenty of time for her to get hungry again. You only asked 10 minutes before dinner. Mom! Okay, I understand. And then she got to go out and ride a bike instead of doing homework. Oh, well, that's just because I needed a little quiet time without your sister in the house to come up with a giant homework and extra chore chart. Wait, what? Extra chore chart? Are you talking about for me? No, no, no. For your very naughty sister, of course. Oh my gosh, this whole time I just thought you were spoiling or rotten, and I was the Cinderella of this story. But as it turns out, looks like Molly's going to get exactly what she deserves. <laughs> okay, don't laugh at your sister. All right, I have to go outside now and tell Molly the bad news. I can't wait to see this. Freedom, freedom. Molly, could you come over here, please? Oh, yeah, sure, Mom. What is it? Oh, this is YouTube gold. Well, I have this chart here, and you're going to be following it for the next month. What chart? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that you keep getting detentions, you don't want to do your homework or chores, and that's about to all change. Wait, what? Uh, could you please put your bike away? I'm riding it! Molly, what I say goes. Okay, fine. What's this chart about? What? Yeah, here you go. Take it. I want you to read it over. Oh my gosh, Mom, I, I, this is a ton of stuff. Why do I have to do all this? Well, I don't think it's fair that your sister gets good grades because she studies and does her homework. She comes home, she does her chores, then she does her homework again, and you just eat ice cream, sit on the couch, and ride your bike. You need to be equals. No, 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 I think Daisy's fine with it. So not fine with it! Are you taping this? Sorry, your reaction is just priceless. <laughs> Molly... It's time you grow up a bit. I don't want to grow up. Being young is perfect for me. No, Molly. You have to start taking responsibility. Now, I'd like you to go in and mop the floor. I don't know how to mop. Well, you better learn. Oh, my gosh. If detention wasn't bad enough, now I've got to do all these chores? This stinks! Have fun, Molly. Well, Molly, how do you feel? I feel like blah, stinky doo-doo! <laughs> well... Looks like you and I are both in the same boat, having to do chores and homework. Welcome to the real world, Marley! Whatever! The real world stinks! Oh boy, lunch! My favorite class of the day! Hey guys! Hey Marley, we're having tacos! OMG! Today's gonna be the best day ever, I can tell already. Molly, the day is half over. Yeah, but I slept through the first half of school. <laughs> oh, boy, Molly. Oh, look. Three losers all together. Good thing I have this Starbucks or I definitely wouldn't make it. Hey, loser. 
Hey, Sarah, ignoring you now. Oh, they have pizza. What am I going to do? Pizza or tacos? Brookie, aren't you eating lunch? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just, I'm eating pizza. Oh, I didn't see it. You were hiding it down there. That's because I know if you see my pizza, you'll want to eat it. Sarah, why are you sitting at our table? It's okay. She can sit at our table as long as she's nice. <laughs> do I look nice? I think maybe you want to try to be nice. Molly, is that a new outfit? It's adorable. Yeah, it's so cool, I think. I, I paired it with this um, black and pink top. And look, there's like roses all over it and stuff. Since spring is right around the corner. You think that's cool? That is the ugliest outfit I've ever seen. When did you get that at Ugly R Us? Rude, Sarah. That's not nice. <laughs> I thought my outfit was really cute. It is cute. I'm a fashionista, so I know. She doesn't know anything. She's not on the cheerleading squad, even. She's not cool. Well, uh, she is my sister, so I don't know how cool she is, but... Molly, you're supposed to be on my side. Sorry. Yeah, she's definitely cool, Sarah. Take that back. Never. You know, Sarah, I'm getting so tired of you bullying me and my sister and my friend. Like, it's just so lame. Stop it. No. <laughs> really? That's all you can say is no? Yeah. No. Well, well, maybe you should challenge her to something, Molly. Wait, why? Well, because whoever wins can do what the other one says, since she refuses to do what you say. Yeah, good idea! Sarah, I challenge you to a challenge! Well, Molly, you're not being really specific there. What, what challenge? I don't know, but I challenge you to a challenge. All right, loser, what's the challenge? Molly, you're good at dancing. Um... Just challenge her to that. I challenge you to a dance challenge. Fine. You know I am cheerleading captain. I'm an amazing dancer. She's been, and Molly's been dancing since she was like two years old. She's got this. Okay, Sarah. Let's do this. You go first, loser. No, I think I should both dance at the same time. Yeah. And they're the judges, so. Fine. This one's so easy. Even a baby could do it. Okay, well, what about this? Yeah, so this one's easy too. All right, well, um, you do your own dance and I'll do my own dance. That's what I said from the beginning. Duh. Beat that loser. <laughs> Gladly. Ta-da! OMG, Marley, that was amazing. Marley wins. No, I could do a backflip. Watch this. Okay, Sarah, watch it. Ow! I can try it. I can do it. Oh, no, I can't. That really hurt my leg. Are you okay, Sarah? Yeah, I'm fine, loser. Actually, um, now that you lost to me, you're the loser. Wait, no, the judges didn't say. Uh, yes, we did. Bookie, what do you think? I'm sorry. Um, Molly's the winner. Yeah, totally. Molly's the winner. Yeah, Sarah. No! Ugh! Now you have to do what I say all day long for 24 hours. First thing you can do is carry my backpack. It's super heavy. Why do you have all this stuff for school? Well, there's a cup in there for a snack and a drink. And I also have like a little nap pad there so I can take a nap. Seriously? You don't need all this stuff for school. Hey, no one asked your opinion. Just follow me. I have to go to my locker. Get some more stuff to put in that backpack. What? No, no more stuff. Yep, I'm going to need some books and... O-M-G. This is the worst day of my life. Oh. <laughs> it's the best day of mine. Oh, look, it's time for math class. Come on. Oh, I don't want to go to math. Uh, I also have a lot of homework, so you're probably going to have to do that. And hurry, Sarah, because once a teacher comes in, you can't do your homework anymore because, you know, homework is supposed to be done at night. Seriously, I have to do your homework from last night? Uh, yep. That would be what I said. OMG, like you didn't do any of this homework at all. I know, I left it for you. 
You didn't even know we were going to do that challenge. Okay, you're right. I just didn't do it. But now that I have you to do it. Awesome! I can't believe it. Cookie Molly actually is getting Sarah to do everything she says. I know. It's pretty great, right? It totally is. Hey, redhead up there. Be quiet. Is she talking to me? I don't see any other redhead around here. You're so annoying. Hey, don't talk to my sister that way. Ugh, okay, I guess I have to do what you say. Well, look at that girl up there. She's ugly. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you can't even see Brookie's face. You can only see the back of her head. What are you talking about? I remember what her face looks like. Ugly. You know what, Sarah? I think maybe I'm not going to have you do homework or carry my backpack or anything like that. Oh, good. I'm getting kind of sick of all of this. I'm going to have you be nice to every person you've been mean to. What? No, I'm in charge here. No, no, you're not. Not for 24 hours. I don't want to do that. That's lame. Well, they don't want to be bullied, but you don't give them a choice, do you? Well, uh, uh. Let's start with my friend Brookie. Come here, Sarah. I want you to say you're sorry and mean it. And then I want you to tell Brookie three things you think are nice about her. Oh, do I have to? Yes! I'm sorry, loser. Try again, Sarah! I'm sorry, Brookie, for all the times I was rude to you. Really? Do you mean it? <sighs> yes, for 24 hours at least. Oh, thank you. Now three things, Sarah, three things. <sighs> I think your hair is actually really beautiful. You do? Should we say I'm ugly? Yeah, but I was just jealous of your hair. Ugh! I can't believe I have to say this. Two, I think you're really nice and have a really bubbly personality, which mostly I find annoying. But I guess, by being honest, it's kind of nice. Very good, Sarah. Now, number three. I don't have a three, okay? This is hard enough. My brain's going to explode. Stop shuffling your feet like you have to go potty and tell her the third thing. Fine. I, I like your dog shirt. I'd never wear it, though. It's lame. Sarah, that didn't sound like a compliment. Okay, it's not really cool, but I like it anyway. Oh, the horror. I can't believe I said all those nice things. Oh my gosh, being nice actually killed Sarah. <laughs> I don't think it actually killed her. I think she's okay. I, I, I. Let's do CPR. Sarah, get off of me, loser. Okay, you're gonna have to be nice to Daisy next. No, I'd rather die. Just leave me here. Leave me here. Oh, boy. Oh, this day just keeps getting better and better and better. Okay, Sarah, get off the floor. Oh, uh, don't make me. Yep, you have to. Why don't you say something nice to me and Daisy right now? You might be less of a Karen. Never! Never about the Karen or never about saying anything nice? Both. You have to, Sarah, say something nice. Ugh, fine. Daisy, your pigtails are actually adorable. Really? <laughs> she likes them. What about me? Molly, you are the funniest person on the planet. <laughs> I think you should listen to me forever. Not a chance, loser. For that matter, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm skipping school. I don't need this. Wow, Molly, I think you actually broke Sarah's brain. <laughs> She's running all the way down the street. Bye, Sarah! <laughs> ah, this is the perfect day. Mom! 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 What, Molly? What is it? I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> yeah, Mom. You can't be as busy as I am. Um, Molly, grown-ups have a lot of things to do, too, you know. Like what? You're baking again? Well, your sister's birthday is this weekend. Who, Daisy? No, it's not. Molly, no, your sister baby Kira. Oh, yeah, it is her birthday. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> well, Molly, I have to make her a delicious cake. So you're going to have to fend for yourself. But, Mom, I'm hungry. Can I eat some of the cake, please? 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 Molly, no, there's a hot dog there you can have. A hot dog. Okay, I'll eat that, but then can I have dessert? I don't have any dessert, Molly. Yeah, you do. You're making that delicious cake. Mm. I'm not going to really use it. 
Molly, this cake is for your sister's birthday. I only have a couple of days to prep everything I need to do for her birthday party. Balloons and decorations and pizzas. Wait, we're having pizza? You guessed it. And also we're having cake? Yep, and I'm making it right now just so I can get ahead of things. Well, I guess I can't have a dessert, but I can't wait till the party. Everything's going to be so delicious. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Something smells yucky, though. Oh, no. I hope my cake isn't burning. Oh. No, it's not my cake. What could it be? Uh, Mom, I think I know what it is. Ew, baby Kira needs a diaper change. Not it. Molly, you can't help me. Sorry, I've got to do some uh, schoolwork. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> schoolwork, uh-huh. Oh, Molly. Okay, baby Kira. I guess your sister doesn't want to help me, so I'll have to change your diaper. And I'll frost your cake later. Molly, I need you to get ready for bed, okay? Okay, Mom. Just another minute, okay? No, Molly, now. You're going to be late for school again. Don't forget to brush your teeth. I won't. Ugh, school. I have to go to school like almost every day. It's a lot, you know? It's a lot. Okay, I just gotta wash my hands and my face and I'll be all done. La 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 la. Oh my gosh, I'm super thirsty. I'm gonna have a glass of water too. Glug, 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 glug. Well, I better go see if Daisy's ready. Because I know she'll be like, I studied and I did everything I was supposed to. Molly, shh. Baby Kira is just down for bed. Okay, I won't be too loud. Daisy! What do you want, Molly? Cupcake and I are just getting ready to go to bed. Good night, Molly. Get out. Oh, look at Cupcake. She doesn't even sleep in her cage. She sleeps in bed with Daisy. That's right. I have one spoiled hamster. Now get out, I'm really tired. Hey, rude hamster. Sorry, I just had a really long day and Daisy and I did a lot of studying. Studying? You're a hamster. How did you study? I'm a very smart hamster. Molly, you waking me up. Get out. Okay, good night. Ugh, sisters are so rude. Molly, why aren't you in bed yet? Mom, you saw me just running over to Daisy's. Did you see me run back yet? Well, no, but... I'm so busy making this frosting that I didn't really notice. Mom, you're really stressing out about this birthday party. It's going to be fabulous, I promise. Oh, thanks, Molly. Whoa, it's dark in here. It's kind of creeping me out. There, I'll just turn on my nightlight. There. The cake is all frosted and looks beautiful. It's going to be so perfect for baby Kira's party this weekend. <sighs> I'm super tired, though. I have to go to bed. <laughs> Molly, wake up this instant. Wake up, wake up. Huh, what? Oh, no, I'm late for school, aren't I? Molly, no! I got up this morning to make your girls breakfast before school, and, and, and Baby Kira's cake is missing! It's all gone! It all got eaten! What? What are you talking about? You ate it, didn't you, Molly? What, me? No, I would I wouldn't do that! You wanted cake so bad that you ate it, didn't you? Uh, Mom, no, I promise I didn't. <sighs> okay, Molly, I believe you. First, I thought it was you, but I guess it wasn't. That means someone has broken into our house. Did you ask Daisy? Yeah, I asked her too. She didn't eat it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe someone broke into our house. Did they take anything? Not that I noticed, Molly. They just ate all the cake. Holy guacamole! We have a cake bandit! Oh, M G. What am I going to do now? You're going to bake another cake, Mom. Everything's going to be fine. Okay. I hope I have enough time for everything. Molly, did you heal? There's a cake bandit. Yeah, this is serious. We definitely need to set up booby traps. Good idea, Molly. I have the perfect plan. 
As you can see, I've set up some security cameras here. Now I'm going to set them up in the rest of the house. Nobody's going to get away with anything here. There's a security camera in almost every room. <sighs> Finally, I got all the decorations done and the cake. Hopefully no cake bandit breaks in and eats this cake. I don't know what I'll do. <sighs> I wish I was awake enough to stay up all night, but I'm so tired from baking and decorating. I have to go to bed. <sighs> Molly! Molly! Molly, wake up! Wake up! Huh? Well, what's going on? Did the cake bandit come back? Yes, Molly, they did! O-M-G, that's it. We're gonna catch him, Mom. We're gonna catch him. Watch this, Mom! Okay, I'm just freaking out. What about, what about your, your sister's birthday? Mom, I have security footage. Let's watch. So far, I don't see anything. Ah, uh, that's my room, Mom, so now you know I'm not the cake bandit. <laughs> what? What? This recording of last night is showing baby Kira. She's out of her crib. What? What is she doing? It's... It's showing her crawling towards the... The kitchen! Oh my gosh, she's sleepwalking! More like cake eating! OMG! She ate her own birthday cake! And I'm betting twice! Yeah, um, but I don't think she knows she's doing it. Because she still looks asleep. Oh my gosh, baby Kira sleepwalks and eats at the same time! <laughs> That's kind of funny. Why is that funny? Um, I kind of wish that I could sleep and eat at the same time. That would be delicious dreams. Oh, Molly. Well, I guess I can't blame her, but from now on, I'm going to have to put the cake up where she can't get it. Holy guacamole. At least you know who the cake bandit is, Mom. Yeah, uh, looks like I'm baking another cake. And what am I going to do about baby Kira sleepwalking? I don't think there is anything you can do, Mom. Except for maybe try to walk her back to sleep when she does it. Yeah, I'm going to have to sleep in her room tonight just to make sure she stays safe. Holy guacamole. I can't believe baby Kira ate the cake in their sleep. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't my fault for a change. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching our show today, Brooke. Hi. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. I know, she's such a star. I love her. <sighs> but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing. I'm just saying, you're amazing. Mm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay, um, you know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but, uh, I want the new iPhone too. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. What? But, but mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Mm, this app was delicious, mom. Ugh, <sighs> can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. 
Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um, iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. I already asked for a new iPhone and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer's so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now, even with all the overtime at work. I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment and... Even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No! No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Ah, oh, really? We've got to go do an errand. Yes, Molly, please. I I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly. I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom. Fine. Come on, Daisy. Oh, I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks! I agree, Molly. I agree. Now remember what Mom said, Molly. No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey, Luke. What's up? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to 100. What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven? Holy guacamole! I'm gonna make a beach. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. I'm gonna make a, yeah. I'm gonna make a beach. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling? I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, Daisy? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we don't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you dare. Get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending mom's money. I am spending mom's. Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the car? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket! Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly! No! You spent the money on a lotto ticket! Naughty! 
Nadia, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly. You're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault. I don't even know you. You're dead to me. Oh, my gosh. My sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy. Where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that. I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom, Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? <laughs> then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket. What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly. But you don't even know if it's a winner. Go to your room, Molly. Go right now. Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner, Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? I, 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 Molly, stop talking gibberish. What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a is that a winning lottery ticket? For a hundred million dollars, Daisy! Oh my gosh! Uh yeah, I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom! 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 Molly, I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got? It, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars what L let me see that oh my gosh ah! oh my gosh is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out where's dad hey everybody we want to we met we met we won a hundred million dollars all of our troubles are over dad what exactly are you doing it's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion i'm just so excited I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well, I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion. Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now. I have to agree, Molly, I thought you were insane, but this place is, well, amazing. It's off the hook. And, um, I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother. Come on, Daisy, come see my new sports car. I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not. I'm a fine driver. Uh-huh, sure, says the girl who put Mom's car on the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapos? Oh my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion. We've got nice cars. We have amazing clothes. We have... We have... 
the newest iPhones. What are we gonna do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Marley. What, what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Daisy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew, why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy, probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa, uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um, $500,000 here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. <laughs> oh my god, did he die? Ah, the homeless man died! No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got $500,000, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How can I ever repay you? Huh. I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was there was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun town. Maybe we could donate some money to them, too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but... Look, my sister and I are going to um, give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just going to leave the bag of cash right here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting, but I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we'd like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? <laughs> Very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh. The kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys. And we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah. Everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly! I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly, but I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that! Yeah, come back! Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You you were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, never mind. I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly. Nice to see you. Um, if you're gonna give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. 
What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well, I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mayo? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but that's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. W Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well, I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow. Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is um, a get-out-of-detention-free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man. Mom? Mom! Good morning, Mom! Good morning, Molly! What's for breakfast? Something delicious like cake or cupcakes? <laughs> yeah, right, Molly. I'm making a fruit salad. Oh, Mom, we had that yesterday! But it's super healthy and I had all this fruit left over. I don't want that, Mom. Too bad, Molly. It's healthy, so you're having it. Did you do your chores yet this morning? Uh, well, um, Molly, you're supposed to do your chores. Go ahead, get going. I still have um, some stuff left to do on this fruit salad. And by the time you're done with your chores, it'll be time for breakfast. Oh, do I have to? Yes, Molly, you have to. Now go get your chores done. Fine. Ugh, mom makes me do so many responsibilities. Do your chores, do your homework, make your bed, eat healthy. Ugh. It's so annoying. Okay, I'm going to go in here and do all of my laundry. Because my mom wants me to. Ugh, this takes forever. Good morning, Molly. Oh, <laughs> hey, Brookie Cookie. What are you doing here? I just came to see what you were doing on this beautiful day. Ugh, don't remind me. What? what? Why, Molly? Are you grumpy or something today? Did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Not really. I woke up in a really good mood, but my mom's making me eat the same thing I always eat for breakfast and do all these chores and make my bed and make sure my homework's done. Oh, wow. Sounds like a bummer. My mom's making cookies for breakfast. What? Cookies for breakfast? Are you serious? Yeah. You should ask your mom if you can come over. Then you could have cookies for breakfast, and we don't do things like chores today. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me just put this away. Great job, Molly. I see you're doing your chores. You betcha, Mom. <laughs> you betcha. Okay, I'm just going to put my clothes away. Perfect. Now I'll ask my mom if I can go to Brookie's. And when I get there, <laughs> I'll have all the cookies I want. Hey, Mom. Oh, hey, Brookie Cookie. Would you like to stay for breakfast? Oh, uh, no thanks. My mom made a huge breakfast this morning. Oh, wow, sounds great. Mom, can I go to Brookie's house? Don't you want any of your breakfast? Uh, no, I could have fruit salad at Brookie Cookie's house, I'm sure. Okay, well, um, be back by dinner, okay? Or do you want to spend the night? Um, I don't know, I'll let you know, okay, Mom? Okay, make sure you call me, all right? Okay! Here, have a chocolate chip cookie. Mmm, these look delicious. Mmm, OMG, mmm. They're good. Have another, Molly. Actually, have as many as you want. Really? Are, are you sure? I'm totally positive. You can have as many as you want. Um, uh, thanks so much. I, I don't know what to call you. Should I call you, like, Mrs. Brookie Cookie? <laughs> don't be silly. You can just call me Miss Dora. Okay, Miss Dora. Mm. You make the best cookies in the world. These chocolate chip are delicious. I'm going to eat another one. Molly, are you sure? You don't want to get a stomach ache. Eh, who cares if you get a stomach ache, right? Right, exactly. Oh, I don't know if I feel so good. 
Ugh. Come on, Molly, come into my room. It's so awesome. Whoa. You have a movie theater in your room? Wait a minute. Uh, where's the roof? Roof? <laughs> what do we need a roof for? Um, that's so you can see the stars at night. Wow. Ooh, I love this episode. <laughs> um, Miss Dora, don't you have to do something like chores or pay the bills or something? <laughs> what? Why would I do that? Um, because that's what my mom does on the weekends. And, um, yeah, she has, like, a lot of grown-up stuff she has to do. Well, not my mom. My mom usually just hangs out with me the whole time. Responsibilities. Uh, can I live with you guys? <laughs> I don't know about that, Molly. Um, but you can stay as long as you like. Would you like to stay the whole weekend? You bet I would! Okay, I'm gonna go call my mom! Molly, what's wrong? My mom said I can't spend the whole weekend here. Oh, no. She doesn't sound like much fun. She sounds kind of like a party pooper. Yeah, she wants me to come home because apparently I forgot to do some of my chores. Oh, Molly, that's terrible. Do you want some popcorn to go? No. I wish... I wish I could switch moms with Brookie Cookie. Her mom seems so cool. She gets to eat cookies for breakfast and watch TV till 1 o'clock in the morning. And, and, and there's a cool dungeon below her bed. Okay, that part was weird, but, you know, whatever. And, and, and... I just wish I could switch moms! Mom, I'm home! Mom? I can't believe you didn't let me stay at Brookie Cookies for the weekend. It's so unfair, Mom. Where's my mom? La, 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 la. That doesn't sound like my mom. Mom? Yeah, I'm in here. Oh, Miss Dora. <laughs> what are you doing here in our hot tub? Who's Miss Dora? I'm supposed to be called Mom, right? But whatever. If you want to call me Dora, I guess you can, even though I'm your mom. What? No, you're not my mom. You're Bookie's mom. No, Laura is Brookie's mom. Molly, are you feeling okay? Maybe you should get in the hot tub and relax. Don't I have to do my chores? Isn't that why you said I had to come home? What chores? Pff, nah, we don't need to do any chores. Let's just hang out in the hot tub. Do you want some cookies? I could make some. Ooh, really? Well, I am kind of getting hungry if you want to make some cookies. Yeah, it'd be super cool. I'll make some cookies for you. You just stay here and watch some TV and have a great time. Um, thanks, Mom. Oh my gosh, guys. I think my wish actually came true. Oh wow, she turned the lights off. And now the bubbles are like green. That's kind of cool. I've never been in the hot tub in like the total dark. <laughs> um, yeah, about that. I forgot to pay the electrical bills. So, um, the lights are going to be out for a while. And I can't use the oven because we haven't paid our bills. Don't worry about it. I'll pay you, Mom. Hey, Molly, um, do you want extra sugar in your cu um, in your cookies? Um, yeah, of course I do. Great, here you go. Here's some cookies. Wow, wait a minute. Did you make these? No, I just pulled them out of the freezer from last year. Um, okay. Ew. Mom, they're kind of gross. Oh, sorry. I just didn't feel like making anything. Oh, my mom, I mean, Laura always cooks food for... For her kid. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Oh, well, I'm not Laura. I'm Dora. And here's some more leftovers for lunch if you want them. Uh, no, I don't really want those. Uh huh. We ate those like three weeks ago. They're kind of like a science experiment in our refrigerator. Oh, I'm sure they're fine. No, no, and no. Ugh, I kind of miss my mom. Oh, I'm in here, honey. You can come on in here. I'm just going to play a game. Actually, I really miss my real mom. What? What are you saying? I'm not your real mom. Um, no, you're Brookie Cookie's mom. No, I'm not. I'm your mom. Oh my gosh, she really thinks I'm my mom. She's my mom. But I kind of miss my mom. And just go eat another cookie. You'll feel all better. I actually have a stomach ache from eating so many cookies. I should have eaten the fruit salad like my mom told me to. Then maybe I could have had a treat later, but I've had five million treats today and my stomach hurts. My stomach doesn't hurt and I eat treats all day long. Oh, man. I should have never wished you were my mother. What? That's not nice to say. Well, if I was a mean mom, I, 
I'd ground you right now. But I'm not a mean mom, so just go do whatever you want. Oh, I miss my mom. I really miss my mom. I wish, I wish, I wish my mom was my mom again. My real mom, you know what I mean? I want my mom, my real mom. Laura mom! Molly, what, what are you shouting about? And did you do your chores? Mom, I'm so happy to see you. Don't ever leave like that again. Molly, are you feeling okay? I think you might have a fever. Why don't you go lay down and I'll make you some nice cookies. I don't want any cookies. No cookies. How about some fruit salad? <laughs> fruit salad, huh? I thought you were sick of it. No, I'll eat it every single day for the rest of my life. Just, I'd rather have fruit salad, please. Okay, Molly, here you go. <laughs> Kids, I'll never understand you. It's okay, Mom. I'm just so glad you're back. Okay, Molly. <laughs> Whatever you say. Wait a minute. Are we all out of Starbucks take-home coffee? Ah, this is horrible. I'm so cold right now. I just want to warm up with a delicious latte. Molly, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my adorable cat hat hat. Cat hat, cat hat, cat hat. I couldn't say that five times fast, even if I tried. Are you going crazy right now, Marley? I think you might be. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. I haven't had my Starbucks coffee. Oh yeah, mom got that at the local grocery store. Now you can even have it at home. Yeah, well we're out. And I'm cold and I'm tired and I need some Starbucks. Stat! I agree, Marley. I could use one of their delicious muffins for breakfast. Well, it's settled then. To Starbucks we go! There it is, Starbucks coffee. Come on, Daisy, last one inside's a rotten egg. I'm always the rotten egg. Oh, look, there's my bestie, Brookie. Oh, wow! <sighs> Wait a minute, why is she hanging out with Sarah? Because we weren't here to hang out with. She wanted to hang out with somebody. Well, I'm gonna get my muffin and some coffee. I'm gonna go talk to Brookie. Hey, Brookie. Seriously, is she talking to you, Brookie? Yeah, I think she is. What do you want? Uh, I'm your best friend. I came to say hi. Well, you look grumpy. It's freezing in here. Well, of course it feels cold. You guys are both drinking iced coffees and you're wearing shorts. It's the middle of winter. Well, they should know that I like wearing shorts after I get done working out because I get too hot and that they should make it warmer in here. Oh, hey, Bookie. Hey, Sarah. Why are you guys talking to me? Seriously. Okay, we won't talk to you. Just to Brookie. Brookie, why are you hanging out with Sarah? Because I just wanted to, okay? Brookie, are you feeling okay? Did you get a bonk on the head? Do you have a fever? Yeah. Did you get a virus or something? Like a zombie virus? Because your brain is acting differently. Rude. Can you believe these two? Manager, they're annoying us. Yeah, they are being super annoying right now, right, Sarah? Ugh. And I don't know why they didn't put enough ice cubes in my iced coffee, but it's not even as good. It's like they put 15 ice cubes instead of 16. Whoa, Brookie's being like a total Karen. Huh, maybe I just need to eat something and then, I don't know, I'll be able to fix why, figure out why she's being a Karen. Maybe not fix it, but definitely try. I don't know if you could fix somebody who's trying to act like a Karen, Molly. Yeah, but why is my best friend acting that way? Ooh, donuts. Sorry, I can't think about anything else in the universe right now except for donuts. Oh, delicious, yummy donuts! Molly, get back over here. I need your help. What is it? Bookie's just not acting like herself. No, you just don't like how I'm acting because I'm not acting like you want me to, okay? I have a mind of my own. Uh, no offense, Brookie, but you're acting like a total Karen right now. What? How dare you? I could tell the manager on you and get you thrown out for harassing me. Wow, Brookie, I remember when you used to be, well, like my best friend. Hooray! It's the first day of summer, Brookie! And I'm here with my very best friend, Molly. Ah, oh, it's gonna be the perfect day. Yeah, and the community pool's open. Last one in the pool's a rotten egg! Whee! Oh! First, <laughs> Brookie, did you see that? Yeah, it was epic. Did you see me? Actually, my back was kind of turned. Go down again. Go down again. I want to watch. Okay, here I go. Make sure you're paying attention this time. You're going off the diving board. Whoa, I can't help it. It's just bouncing me up and down. Brookie? Oh, my God. I think she went up into the tree. Brookie? Brookie? Brookie, are you up in the tree? Um, no, 
I sort of got bounced all the way over to the other side of town. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I'm watching you. You can go down the slide now. Okay, here I go. <laughs> I can't believe that diving board. It's insane. Whoa, your legs were hanging out the bottom of the slide. I know, it was crazy, right? Yeah, totally. Hey, do you want to go to um, Barnes & Noble with me today? Oh, yeah, I love going there. Are you going to get a, a book to read for the summer? Yeah, I'm probably going to buy like 10 books. I love to read. I like to read too, except for when they're like, you have to do it for homework. Then I'm a rebel. I don't want to do it then. Only when I want to read. Well, at least you do read, Molly. Of course I do. Books are amazing. <sighs> Molly, this is going to be the best summer ever with you. I couldn't agree more. Am I the only one that loves the smell of books? No, I love them too. Ah, it smells like adventures, or mysteries, or travel, or whatever you want. Wow, look at this book. Ooh, that looks cool. Um, I'm gonna look at some over here, I think. I wanna read a, a mystery, I think. Maybe we could read together at the pool tomorrow. Sounds like a great idea, Brookie. Um, if I haven't told you lately, you're my best friend, and you're so nice, like, to everyone. Aw, thanks, Molly. No problem, bestie. Wow, last summer was one of the best summers I've ever had with my bestie. Yeah, too bad she's so different now. What? So what if I'm different? Ugh, you guys are so annoying. Uh, I have to go talk to the manager and tell them that they need to put 16 ice cubes in my latte next time. Your latte? You didn't even order a latte. You ordered an iced coffee. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. They should have put some, I don't know, extra ice cubes in there. Lot of ice cubes. Actually, I think that means a lot of milk. Don't try to fight with Karen. She knows best, apparently. Yeah, exactly. Duh. It's not a lot of milk. It's a lot of ice cubes. I don't know. You guys are all annoying me at this point. Goodbye. Ah, uh, bye, Sarah. See you later, Brookie. Try to be less annoying. Whatever! You're the annoying one! Ugh, I'm gonna tell the manager on you. Brookie, listen to me for a minute. I don't have to listen to you. Go away. You are being a total Karen right now! Snap out of it! Why are you talking to me that way? Rude! Because you're my best friend, and it's also my job to help you when you need it, and you need help. Remember last summer when we went to the pool? Yeah, I guess so. It was sort of late. What? Really? I had so much fun that day. Then we went to Barnes & Noble and looked at books. And the next day we hung out and read our books at the pool. And we swam and we had a picnic. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Why wasn't I invited? Okay, don't you turn into a second Karen. You can only deal with one Karen at a time. Whatever. Can't believe you guys didn't invite me on your fun day. Rude. Uh, I guess you're right. I guess it was kind of fun. Exactly, Karen. I mean, Brookie. Why are you calling me Karen? Because you're acting like one, that's why. What happened? It's because she was hanging out with Sarah. Sarah has bad choo-choo. It, it just wore off on her. Well, Sarah is pretty grumpy. And I've been hanging out with her every day. You have? Why? I figured she needed a friend. But I realized that her bad energy is kind of worn off on me. Sort of like, you know, you got to be careful who you choose as friends sometimes. Because, well, they can really bring you down. Yeah, but I've always chose you as a friend, Brookie, because, well, you're so great and amazing. You're not a Karen. I should be a Karen since I'm not invited to anything. Daisy, enough with this. I just want to spray you both with this because it was rude to not invite me. Ah, why is she spraying us right now? Because she's just being jealous. Daisy, that's going to seriously make me turn back into a Karen. Goodbye, you two. I'm really mad at you. Okay, we got to handle the Daisy situation after we handle this one. Brookie, try to turn your frown upside down. I can't. It's like my face is permanently stuck this way. Okay, um, just try really hard. The muscles in my mouth will not move. Brookie, you're being ridiculous right now. Move your mouth so it's smiling. Okay, fine. Now, doesn't that feel better? Not really. Feels like annoying. Okay, well, I have something that'll fix it. Here, eat this ice cream. I can't eat it. You're eating it. You're right. The ice cream's all mine. I don't care if you're a Karen or not. It's mine. Really? <laughs> Molly. <laughs> That's funny. There's the brookie I know. Try not to be a Karen ever again. That stressed me out. I'll try, Molly. I'll try really hard. 
Oh, I can't believe how much of a Karen I was being. Well, I'm glad to be back to my old self. Yeah, now we gotta go handle, well, grumpy pants over there. Daisy! Oh, Daisy! Go away! I don't need anybody. Oh, here comes the loser crew. Why are you just standing here? I'm trying to stay away from all of you. Daisy, why are you making me chase you? Daisy! Where'd she go? Daisy, where are you? Oh, hide and seek, huh? Wanna we'll play hide and seek? Well, too bad. I'm just gonna stand here and eat this donut. You can stay hidden as long as you want. I don't care, Daisy! Mmm. This is a delicious donut. Better not let the police see it, though. They might arrest me just so they can steal it. Hey, Molly! Where's Daisy? Did you apologize? No, I don't know where she is. She's right here! Oh, she went to get ice cream. Drowning her so sorrows in ice cream, I guess. Hey, Daisy. Oh, I'm really sorry. Um, but you're sadly mistaken about what happened that day. Yeah, you guys didn't invite me. What's there to understand? Oh, I looked it up on my calendar, and you had a dance competition, so you couldn't come along. Oh, <laughs> getting upset about nothing, are we? Molly, you're not really helping here. Oh, so you would have invited me even if, if, if I didn't have a dance competition? No. Molly, yes, we would have. I wouldn't have. Molly, you're so rude. I can't believe you're my sister. I'm trading you in for Brookie as a sister. Okay, Brookie would have invited you and I would have went along with it. Well, I guess I feel a lot better. Maybe we could have a picnic today. Uh, Daisy, it's like going to be nighttime soon. And also, it's like 20 degrees outside. Can't picnic outside. No, but we can eat ice cream together and pretend it was summer. Sounds like a great idea to me. I'll never turn down some ice cream. Mmm, that is so good. Yummy. 